The information in this module is accurate and complete to the best of our knowledge. All recommendations are made without guarantee on the part of the author or the sponsoring institutions. The author and the sponsoring institutions disclaim any liability in connection with the use of this information. As you finish this module, you will be able to explain how a confidence interval helps to estimate parameters, and also to justify the presence of an error for each estimation. As learned in the past module, inferential statistics help to conclude something about a population by using a representative sample to make estimates. The set of individuals present in the sample constitute a random variable following a distribution comprised by statistics that are estimators of the population parameters. Such statistics can be the mean, standard deviation or variance, and proportion. As we are not working with all the elements of a population, the estimation cannot be expected to be completely precise hence an error will be present. In this case, the dispersion of a population elements will be underestimated by the sample. Since there is always an error associated, the confidence of being successful when estimating a parameter cannot be 100%. This error is quantified through alpha, which allows to know in what proportion the user is willing to be unsuccessful about the estimation. The value of alpha is defined by the user. A parameter to be estimated is the population mean where information from the sample is used to obtain the sample mean. Not knowing how close this last one is from the population mean, a confidence interval can be provided. This interval offers a range of values within which the real population parameter is expected to be found. This interval is said to have a 100 minus alpha percent confidence level, so the user can asseverate that they are 100 minus alpha percent confidence of this interval containing the real unknown value of the population mean. In this module, you learned that a confidence interval consists of a range of values around a sample statistic within which it is expected to be the population parameter. A user-defined error, known as alpha, is always associated to a confidence interval. This error indicates the probability for the estimation to be unsuccessful.